Richard Rogers here with Meredith Anderson. Breaking news tonight out of Thompson. A plane crash, actually a jet there near the Thompson McDuffie Airport. We understand five people are confirmed dead. Six people were on board. One person, we're just not sure of how they're doing. But the coroner has been on the scene of a fatal air crash tonight. That's right, and we are hearing some names, but we are not reporting any of that information until the families have been notified that we are certain of that and that authorities tell us that we can report those names, but we are still lurking, learning to learn much more about what happened tonight in McDuffie County. All the pieces coming together on the ground near the Thompson McDuffie County Airport where News 12's Hope Jensen joins us live. Richard, it is still an extremely active scene out here. Information still very limited, but we are learning. I do want to clarify this. People out here are telling us that seven people were on that plane. Initial report saying seven. So with five confirmed fatalities, we're looking at two people who we are just still unsure exactly how they are doing at this point. The plane crashed right back behind me, behind the Millican plant back here. There's a spotlight back up behind this sign. You can see, I don't know if you guys can see that, but back in the heavily wooded area back there is where this plane went down. Now the coroner is on the scene right now. The sheriff's office did confirm those multiple fatalities. The chief deputy says it looks like the pilot may have overshot the runway back here at the Thompson McDuffie Airport. I want to show you guys the McDuffie County Airport is right back here where this light is to my right. Looks like the plane went over across the road, hit a high power line right there and went down just over the plant into that wooded area. Now we are told there was a small fire. They were able to put that out quickly, but back in that area, it's very rough terrain. They say the soft ground with all the rains has made it extremely hard to get to the scene. They had vehicles that were getting stuck, had to bring some people in with four wheel drive trucks to try to make it back out to that scene, which made it a lot more difficult. We do know that a helicopter came in, took those injured people to a local hospital. We don't have word on their condition right now, but there were at least 10 ambulances on the scene on standby here, as well as multiple agencies throughout the night. It's a team effort. Uh, everybody pulls together with the EMS, uh, fire and police when we have a tragedy like this. The FAA is on the way. Fire and police still actively working the scene. Just a few minutes ago, they've actually pulled down back here to my left. We're going to zoom in on this. You can see some police cars up there on the hill, some crime scene tape, and there are some guys standing out here in the field still working to figure out exactly how this plane went down. Now, the FAA says the plane was coming from John Toon Airport in Nashville, Tennessee, and obviously we are still getting some limited, having limited information out here, but we'll get as much to you as we can as soon as possible. We are confirming multiple fatalities, possibly five fatalities out here at this crash, and we'll keep you updated as soon as we get any more information. For now, in Thompson, Hope Jensen, News 12. So, Hope, if, uh, if I can just get in one quick question. Since Washington Road right, runs right through the middle of where all this happened, is the highway open tonight? Are, are safety officers still blocking it off? The highway does seem to be opened at this point. They do have a few lanes closed on the right side. They've got a lot of cars, police cars still sitting along, but the highway here is open. Cars are coming through at this point. And actually, we've just learned that the sheriff has just shown up on the scene. So we're about to go get some more information to him. Hopefully we'll get that to you in just the next few minutes here. Yeah, please do. This will make a lot more sense to everybody once we show them the map of this area. If we could go to that right now, we'll show you exactly how this uh, played out on a map that we prepared for you as we zoom down in here to Thompson. Um, I'm not sure if you're going to see it right there. Washington Road is Main Street right there through town. If you head north on that road, you've get the, you get the airport, you get the golf course, and you get the site of the plane crash. That's right. It's about four miles north of Thompson, just to give you an idea of that. And something else to mention, too. A lot of people have been posting on Facebook. Witnesses have been going to the scene. They, they just want to be part of it. They want to see what's going on. It, it really is not a good idea to head out that way. Let the investigators do the work that they need to do tonight.